Hey, what's up? Tyler with Green Monkey Marketing. And today I'm gonna to show you how to build this website for your coffee shop, your cafe, or your bakery. So check it out. All right, so we're going to go through and build this website from scratch. As you can see, we have a beautiful homepage here. And this, this is a really good website for your cafe, your coffee shop, your bakery, really any local shop that you have that's like restaurant style, this will work perfect for. Even if you have a restaurant, this would be a perfect website for that. So that's what the home page looks like. Here's a quick look at the drink menu page. And we'll be going through so you can add any pictures you want, any text that you have. Um, to make this totally customizable to you. Next page we have is the guide page. And as you can see, this is just a really nice template website. I'll include a link below this video to this sample website so you can go and um, you know check on it, click on the links, all of that good stuff. Here's the shops page. So you can actually sell stuff on your website as well if you'd like to do that. And remember, if you want to add additional pages, if you want to take pages out, you don't have to build these exact pages that, that we're looking at here, but this is just a template. This is just a start so that you can see what this website could look like. Um, and then finally, the last page we're gonna build here is the contact us page. So where your customers can contact you, join your newsletter, um, see where your business is located, all of that good stuff. So we're gonna go through today and build this website from scratch with no steps skipped. If you're struggling to go through and build this website, or you just don't have time to build this website, we can actually help you build this uh, for free. Right now we have a promotion going on where we'll build you this template website completely free when you purchase one of our hosting and maintenance plans. Go to greenmonkeymarketing.com slash hosting to see what current deals we have going on where we'll build you the free website. For those of you who want to build this on your own, we're gonna get into that right now. Okay, so there's three things that you'll need when building this website. The first is a domain name or website name. The second is hosting. This is where your website actually lives, uh, so your server. And the third is a theme. For the domain name and hosting, we're using SiteGround. Go to greenmonkeymarketing.com slash SiteGround to see what kind of current deals are going on for your SiteGround domain name and hosting. If you already have a domain name set up on another registrar, such as GoDaddy, don't worry, you can still purchase the SiteGround hosting and I'll show you how to connect your domain name to your hosting account. I've included a link below if you already have your domain name but need hosting, just follow those instructions to connect your domain name to your host. The third thing that we need is a theme. We're using Divi theme, and you can go to greenmonkeymarketing.com slash Divi if you need to get the theme. Uh, see what kind of current specials are going on with both of those links to save as much money as possible when you're building this. All right, and let me show you how to do SiteGround real quick. So if you need SiteGround hosting and domain name, simply, simply click on the link below this video or go to greenmonkeymarketing.com slash SiteGround. This page will pull up or something similar. And the best price is typically this web hosting. So you can click get started. And right now it looks like it's $3.95 per month. So you can click get started on this package. And you only need these larger packages if you have multiple websites. Um, so if you're just have the one website, I'd suggest this. So click get started to get your SiteGround hosting and domain name. Next for Divi, you can click on greenmonkeymarketing.com slash Divi, and it's gonna take you to Elegant Themes. After that, you'll wanna go ahead and click on 
um, join to download. And then there's two options right now. As of now, it's $89 to get started. Um, you can click sign up today to get your Divi theme. After you have Divi and SiteGround, now we can start building the website. So go to the SiteGround account that you just set up. And then after you log in, it's going to look something like this. Then you'll go to the My Accounts tab. And then you'll choose the account. You, you'll probably only have one account and you'll click Manage Account. And then you'll click Go to cPanel. All right, after you're in the back end of your, your cPanel, we can install WordPress. Down here where it says WordPress install, you can click that. If you, again, if you have a domain name set up, you're gonna wanna do this a different way by following the video uh, that I included at the link below, how to set up your GoDaddy domain name to your SiteGround hosting. So make sure you do that before that, before you're doing this. For everyone who has SiteGround hosting and domain name, just follow these instructions exactly. So click on WordPress installer. And then click install. All right, it's gonna pull up some options. We're going to start by make, just doing the HTTP version of this. And I'm going to set up a website called Create Me a Website, just as an example here. So choose the website name, and then you can name your site. We'll call this Create Me a Website. You can put any site description here. So uh, this is where you'd want to put, uh, you know, Denver Bakery or Den Denver Coffee Shop. Give a little like, description of your business here. Put in your, your user information. And then the email address that you want on file. I like to limit the login attempts and then I'll skip this so uncheck this box and click install all right so it's setting up our website right now um, sometimes this takes a little bit of time I'll pause this video while it sets up all right so the website set up now I want you to go look at the website just by clicking this link Okay, as you can see, it doesn't look like much of a website yet, but at least it's set up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the back end of the website here, and you can always get to your website back end by going to yourwebsite.com slash WP admin. So we'll click on this link, and it's gonna take us to the back end of the website. And it should already log us in. While this is working, Make sure that you have your Divi theme ready to go. And again, you can click the link below to see if there's any discounts going on for that. All right, so now we're in the back end of the website. We wanna install the Divi theme on this website. So go over to your um, Elegant Theme login, and then you'll download the Divi theme. Just click the download button and it'll download the Divi theme right down here. After that's downloaded, go to the back end of your website again. Now we're going to go to appearance, themes, and we want to add a new theme. So click the add new button and we'll upload theme. Once this is finished downloading, we're gonna drag this into the choose file section. Looks like it's done, almost done. So we'll choose the Divi theme. You can click on the choose file like I just did. 
Otherwise, you can drag any of your files to the Choose File box and click Install Now. All right, this is installing the theme now. Next thing we'll do is we'll activate the theme after the theme has been installed. And right here you can see where we can click the activate button. So click that to activate the theme. Now what we'll want to do is we'll want to start building our, our website. So go to pages, click add new. And I'm going to call this home page. So this is the home page of our website. You can type in home right there. Now we'll, we're going to use the Divi Builder. So click use Divi Builder. And we're going to build um, our website, our coffee shop, cafe, or restaurant website by clicking uh, the choose a pre-made template layout. All right, so it's, good. it's pulling up all the, the templates that we can use. So we'll just wait for it to do its thing. And right here, it says coffee shop. If you don't see coffee shop in this search, you can type in coffee shop and, it, and push enter and it'll pull up. So we'll select this theme. And now we wanna click use this layout. It's gonna ask us for our user information from uh, Elegant Themes where we purchase Divi. So type in your username. And I'm going to go back to Divi because I don't know what my API is. So we can find that by logging in to Elegant Themes, going to account. And then we'll click on your API key. Divi allows you to have many different API keys. Um, we have quite a few. But I'm going to just go ahead and add a new API key for this project. And then I'm going to copy this. I just copied this. We'll go back to the website and add the API key right here and click submit. All right, cool. So that's it to start, right? So it's going, going and importing all of those different layouts that we looked at at the beginning of this video. It takes a, a minute or two minutes to do this. I'm gonna pause this video while it's it's going through that, and then we'll talk about how to finish the site. All right, you can see how it has gone and added this for us. Now what we wanna do is let's go ahead and publish this, right? We just wanna save this page that it created for the homepage for us. Now we're gonna go back to the back end of the site. And we can do that by clicking right here. And then we're gonna to go to the pages um, the pages section, you can see that it had given us just the home page now. So this is the point where we're going to go in and we're going to build, um, you know, our about page, our blog page, any pages that we want. So I'm just going to click add new. We're going to create, let's create the about page now. Then we'll click use Divi Builder. We're going to do a pre-made template and then we'll go back to the coffee shop template here and we just want the about one so we'll click on that and use this layout and we'll go back and do that for each of our pages right so I'll go back and get the menu page and then the contact us page download all of those individually I think you get the point how to create a new page and install the theme so I'm gonna pause this video and I'll go and add all of those while this is paused. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've added the, the home page, about page, menu page, blog page, and contact page. These are the pages that we'll be finishing up with. In addition, you can add the shop page and the other pages that we looked at as well. Let's go to the front of the website so that you can see what it looks like right now. All right, so as you can see, it, it still kind of looks funky. There's a couple things that we need to do to make this um, look the way we want it to. And that's how it's supposed to be right now. we we'll go to the back end dashboard. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to settings, reading. And we want to select which page is our home page. So make sure a static page is chosen. 
we'll click home and save changes. All right, we'll go back to the front end of the website. And now you can see that our homepage should be there. Yeah. Um, so our homepage is now set up. Right now, the menu items look a little funny and we need to add our logo. So we'll go and we'll fix the menu items. And we can do that by going to um, appearance, menus. And we'll just call this, we have to name the menu. We'll just call it menu one and click create menu. This is our primary menu. So we'll make sure that that's selected. And we'll just select all of these items here and we'll add them to the menu. It looks like our about page is missing. So we'll just go to view that. So I must have called our about page the home page on accident. So I'll, I'll go back and fix that. But this is where you can organize the menu. So we'll have it be the home page. Maybe we want the menu page next then the blog and the contact. So that's how it's gonna show up in on the front end of the website. So if we go to the front end of the website and refresh it, you see this change from home, menu, blog, contact. Perfect. Okay, the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna add your logo. So go ahead and hover over the Divi, go to theme options, and right here it says logo. You can just go ahead and click upload and then choose your logo and then click set as logo and make sure to save any changes in here once you did that now go to the front end of the website and perfect see how the logo is added all right so this website is starting to come together we have our home page with the template info. We have a menu page, real clean. We have our blog page. Right now there's no blogs in it, but I'll show you how to add new blogs if you'll be blogging. And then also we have our contact page, perfect. So I mean, if that's all you wanted to do for the website, you just need to go in and edit the, the details here. What I'm gonna do is I'll add a part two to this video showing you how to go in and edit the background, edit all these contact details, and we'll go in, we'll edit everything and finish it up. So make sure that you purchased uh, SiteGround and Elegant Theme, the Divi Elegant Theme, so that you can do all of this. Again, if this is confusing or if you just want us to build it, right now we have a special going on at greenmonkeymarketing.com slash hosting. If you purchase one of our hosting plans, we'll set this up, put all of your information on it for free. So we're building these for free for you. You can check that out. Um, also remember every week we bring you new videos on how to grow your local business, how to do digital marketing, and make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video if you like stuff like this. So make sure to watch part two of this video. We're gonna finish up the website and I'll see you on the next video.